Yo, what's up, suckers? Welcome back to another uh, guitar lesson, bass lesson. This lesson can be used on bass or guitar. And I'm playing in drop D, and I'm just going. Let me turn my amp up a little bit. You can do the same damn thing I'm doing. And you're going to go, and the riff goes. It's just an exercise, it goes. And I've seen Kirk Hammond do this, and um, Kirk Hammond does this as a warm-up. What I'm doing here is I'm playing on the 12th fret of the E string, which is tuned down to a D, and I'm palm muting it. I'm going... And then you're going 12th fret of the E, 11 of the A to the 14th A, so you're going... Then you're going back to the third or the twelfth of the A. Then going to the eleven and fourteen of the D. So you're going. I'm trying to get a really good close up for you guys. So slowly you're going. And you're just going to continuously do the thing down to the G string, just slowly. And bend the. Uh, 14th fret when you get to the 14th fret of the G string so you're up to speed you're getting this kind of riff this kind of sound ready go but take your time honestly that's what this is all about it's, it's about exercise it's about getting your uh, fingers uh, warmed up it's a very good warm-up exercise I've seen like I said Kirk Hammett play it from Metallica and he and it just goes like so this riff is not meant to be like shredding or playing a thousand miles an hour there's no real point to it besides getting your fingers warmed up and you can play this on any string anywhere on the fretboard just So um, with that said, hopefully that helped you guys out learning this little um, warm-up exercise that I like to do. And um, the people that I've been uh, talking to a lot lately on um, messages with about bass, you can do this as uh, just as well. I'll show you uh, on a bass really quickly so you guys can understand what I'm doing if you're getting confused with the guitar and Okay, the so for the people who play bass, it's pretty much it's the same thing and you're just going... play with a pick for bass I would recommend getting one of these kind of picks it's a um, I'm not exactly sure what kind it is but it's a two millimeter uh, bass pick it's very thick plastic and it actually has a like an indent indentation in the actual pick if you I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not let's see if you can see from here yeah you can see from this angle uh, it actually has a spot where you and, can um, this thumb. exercise can be used with playing with just your fingers like the finger walk exercise that you guys should all know is one, like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And everybody should know that on bass. When you're playing bass, it should be this. And every string should sound the same. It shouldn't be like every, when you're doing this riff, everything should sound the same.
Oh, with that said, suckers, please rate, hate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video, but I'm just, hopefully this lesson helps you out with the, um, figuring out how to do a good warm-up to warm up, because you always want to get your hands warmed up, because if you don't, your hands, you can get cramping, you can get carpal tunnel later in life. Ask a lot of bass players, if you play constantly for hours and hours when you first start playing for, like, when you first start learning bass and you want to play for hours and hours and hours, you want to warm up because you can get uh, uh, carpal tunnel and cramping. And a lot of times when you get it too, so. So remember guys, hit the uh, thumbs up, hit the like button, uh, subscribe to this channel every Monday and Friday I upload a new lesson and this was just a, a, technique, a technique that everybody should learn and warming up on a bass or an inst any instrument is, is the right way to do it. Don't just try to shred and play for hours. You will look at like Metallica or Limp Bizkit or Slayer or any of these guys that are high level players that are um, professional they always when you watch them behind the scenes they're warming up before their show so they don't just constantly um like blow out like they go and play for like f two, like their their shows like an hour and they're playing like 15 minutes and they're already like tired so warming up is, is, is a great way to prevent your hands from like cramping and um the carpal tunnel because we don't need that shit so Rate, hate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Now get that camera on my face, sucker.